My name is Matthew O'Hare. I am a co-founder and vice president with Built Tech Critical Services. We are a construction management uh, and development firm uh, specifically related to the data center and high technology environment. The challenges that we're looking at this year and into 2020 really is kind of the release of new technologies. Um, to differentiate ourselves from other uh, vendors uh, within our industry, we have to make sure that we can provide something different. And our something different really relates to emerging technologies. And so we're on the cusp of the release of these technologies. Uh, but in the meantime, we're developing in-house means and methods to act fast just as soon as these technologies are released. The the best business advice that I've been given really relates to emotion and that is you will have extreme highs, uh, you will have extreme lows. Uh, you need to make sure you can find a way to even those out. Um, don't react too strongly to either one of them uh, because within business that's the way that it goes. Uh, really high, really low and uh, just have to keep an even keel. You know, key indicators to a strong business culture to me internally really it relates to involvement. Uh, we need to make sure that the employees are involved, uh, truly involved in uh, not only the business aspect but the social aspect that we try to provide as well. On the business aspect we want to make sure that they're bought in. Uh, we want to make sure that they're on the same goals, the same paths. We help to set the goals and the paths and to lead them along the way to make sure that they are just as successful as the company is. I started my business as a continued evolution um, within this industry. Um, I felt that uh, I can, uh, myself and my partner and the, the company that we've created uh, can provide something that is um, different than what the traditional uh, construction managers, developers and so forth can provide. Uh, it was a uh, clear vision between the two of us and uh, we feel that we're uh, uh, making that vision come to reality now. So um, speaking about the trends in the industry, relates to what I was referring as the emerging technologies. Primarily, the biggest one being the rollout of 5G. Um, the 5G technology, uh, which everybody seems to be talking about, um, relates to a different type of uh, system for cell phones. And with this system needs to be a mass rollout of uh, different types of uh, technological advances. Uh, we are working to be on the cusp of the rollout of the 5G because with that uh, you have to have a compelling event. So what is that compelling event? Is it the autonomous cars? Uh, is it the uh, uh, continued expansion of the Internet of Things? Um, is it uh, high-speed technology for medical and healthcare? Um, nobody really quite knows yet and uh, to, to quote a friend of mine, Bill Lowry, he, he had stated everybody in this industry is in a race to be second because nobody really wants to be first and, and put that, that um, capital up front. Um, so for this year and for next year, uh, we see that the rollout is going to start to take place slowly uh, and we're going to be ready for it when it really starts to hit.